Let's make one more tutorial in Autodesk Fusion. In this video, you'll learn how to make this pipe. And here you'll learn how to use the pipe, shell, extrude, and fillet. So open the Fusion and let's go. The first step to create this part, we will select the right plane and make this sketch here. Here will be the midpoint, okay? So the first thing that we make, we create a line here with 50 millimeters, create this arc here with 30 millimeters of radius and create this line with 35 millimeters. And then we will create this line here, the center line of this pipe. And the distance between this face here and this point is 40 millimeters. And the distance between this point and this point here is 20 millimeters plus 5 millimeters, 25 millimeters, okay? So open the Fusion, go to create a sketch, select the right plane, select a line, click at this point, make a line here with 50 millimeters, create an arc here and another line here with 35 millimeters, okay? Go to sketch mention, the radius here is 30 millimeters of radius, and go to Construct, select Tangent, make this arc tangent with this line here. Now select the line again, click at this point here, make a line here with 40 millimeters. And go to Sketch Dimension, the distance between this point and this point here is 25 millimeters. We made this, okay. Finish the sketch. Now go to Create and select the Pipe. And select this path. And the diameter here is 25 millimeters of diameter, okay? So the section size 25, operation join, press OK. Now show the sketch one again and go to create, select the pipe, but now select this line here. The diameter here is 20 millimeters of diameter, okay? So the section size here is 20 millimeters, operation join and press OK. Hide the sketch one. We made this, okay. The wall thickness of this pipe here is two millimeters of thickness, okay. We have this diameter here of 25 millimeters and the hole here is 21 millimeters. So the difference will be two millimeters to each side, okay. And the same here is two millimeters to each side here. So to make this, we use the shell features and the faces. Select this face, this face, this face, the face that we want to remove. And the inside thickness, two millimeters. And press OK. We made this. OK. We made this. Now we will create this flange. So this flange is in this sketch here. We have a circle here with 50 millimeters of diameter. And we have these four holes with five millimeters of diameter. And the distance between the center of this hole and this point here is 30 millimeters, okay? So go to create a sketch and select this face here. Select a circle, click here, here in the midpoint, make a circle here with 50 millimeters of diameter. And now go to two point rectangle and select the center rectangle and achieve the construction line type. Click here in the midpoint, make a square here, 26 by 26 millimeters. And now select the circle, remove the construction line type, click in this edge, make a circle here with five millimeters of diameter. And create a circle in this far edge, okay? Go to constraint, select the equal, select this one and this one, this one and this. Now they have the same dimensions. Finish the sketch. We needed to extract this five millimeters, okay, to this side. So go to extract, select this profile, 
and extrude this to this side minus 5 millimeters. Operation join and press OK. We made this. Now we will create this flange here. Okay. The extrusion is 5 millimeters. And here we have a I square 40 by 40 millimeters. In the corners here, we have a fillet with 5 millimeters of radius. And we have four holes that is coeccentric with this arc with 5 millimeters of diameter. Okay. So go to create a sketch and select this face here. Go to create, select the project included, project, and select this circle here, press OK. Now select the two point rectangle, center rectangle, click here in the midpoint, make a square here, 40 by 40 millimeters. And go to modify, select fillet, make a fillet here with 5 millimeters of radius. OK. Now select a circle, click at this point, make a circle here with 5 millimeters of diameter. Okay. Go to console, select equal, select the circle in this one, this circle in this one. We made this. Now finish the sketch. Go to extrude, select this profile, extrude this to this side here, minus 5 millimeters. Operation join and press OK. We made this, OK. Now we'll make the last flange here. So go to create a sketch and select this face here. I will rotate this a little bit. Go to create, select the project included, project. Select this circle here and press OK. I will hide this body a little bit. And here, to create this flange here, we have the sketch here, OK? We'll create a construction line here with 50 millimeters of length and create these two circles here with 5 millimeters of diameter. So select line, construction line. Make a construction line here with 50 millimeters. And go to constraint, select midpoint. Select this line and the center point here. Okay. Now select the circle. Remove the construction line type. Click at this point. Make a circle here with 5 millimeters of diameter. And this one with 5 millimeters. Okay. Now we will create this arc here with 5 millimeters of radius, create a line and another arc here with 14 millimeters of radius and make the same in the other side here, okay? So go to create, select the arc, center point arc, click here at this point, make an arc here, okay? Go to sketch dimension, the radius here is 5 millimeters of radius, select the line, Make a line here and make another arc here, a line here, another arc, a line, another arc, and a line here. Okay. And go to constraints and select coeccentric. Select this arc and this circle, this arc and this circle, this arc and this circle. Now go to constraint again, select the echo, select this arc and this one and select this arc and this one. Now go to sketch dimension. The radius here is 14 millimeters of radius. Okay. And now go to constraint, select tangent, select this line and this arc, this line and this arc, this line and this arc. All the lines here must be tangent with the arcs, okay? And we made this. Now finish the sketch. Show the body one. We needed to extract this five millimeters, okay? So go to extract, 
select this profile, extrude this minus five millimeters here. Operation join and press OK. We made this. Okay. Now to finish this exercise, we need to add fillet. We have a fillet here, a fillet here. Let me erase this. We have a fillet here, 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 and here. And all this fillet is two millimeters of radius, okay? So go to fillet, select this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. The fillet here is two millimeters. And press OK. Now press letter A in the keyboard. We made this, okay? Now we add the color here. So press letter A in the keyboard. And here we finish our exercise. So thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more. And see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.